even you remember when the stalking started? This this was all trees. Yes. Right. Yeah. Their privacy was maintained. Yeah. Right. And all of a sudden the cops come come down here before the trees took off. They started harassing us for stalking, and then they did this. So their privacy was taken away. Yeah, in, in respect to everybody. Was yeah. Was just yeah. Nice. Right, I've just gone live here, so I'll just introduce myself to my crew here on the camera. And I'll just get a quick bit of footage, because I want the rest of the country just to know. It's time they knew the Umbrella crew have been here for over 800 days. Yeah. and still choose to give a care, so. Anyway. G'day, g'day. I'm Daniel Vincent. Welcome to WA Mission Control. Uh, I'll also put this out on Freedom Fronts uh, cam, uh, Freedom Fronts later on today. I'm actually on Earth in Perth today. I'm out the front of the government house. Um, I'm very proud to be here. These people here are my heroes, the Umbrella Crew. They've stood at this government house uh, and demanded uh, the Governor stand down our Parliament here in WA. They've been here for over 800 days, 823 I believe. Uh, it's a very similar fight to the one we have here, have in Canberra. And um, yeah, so I'm, yeah, I'm here with the, my heroes basically. These are the, this is the calibre of warrior in this country. This is the calibre of warrior from WA. Um, a piece full of power they are. I've always called the Canberra crew the resilient, relentless and steadfast. That rolls on right here to these men and women who continue to stand for 800 days. They stood against Kim Beasley Jr. and uh, they stand now against Chris Dawson, the ex uh, police commissioner. So, yeah, I've um, tried a few times to go live. I'll see if this one lets me out and lets me go live. I've got a bit of a quick scene there of Perth. Some of these buildings, they look older than Australia, honestly. And that's our brand new RSL building. Shame, shame, shame. I am glad to be on a new building. However, shame on the RSL. Shame on the RSL presidents. In, yeah. So, got Max Freedom there. G'day, g'day. Good to see. And yeah, finally made it down here. Took a long time to recover. But I'm back here now in WA and, uh, yeah. Escalating my fight as overtly peaceful as possible and joining with the men and women of WA. Uh, the people here aren't really aware of these stands on the East Coast. Um, they don't really know about the Canberra crew, but they do now. Um, and I've let these people know that they're our heroes in Canberra as well. So um, I think it's my duty and my absolute pleasure to introduce them to Corey. Phil Jones, Hazel, Anita's, Tobias's, etc., 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 and um, because it's the same fight, the same sense of urgency. Um, yeah. Uh, the people here aren't aware of the belligerent occupancy national strike day, so I'm very happy to bring that to their attention. Um, I've now networked, we've joined, uh, followed some channels and things, so we should be able to talk a little more clearly with each other. There's also a, uh, a pro not a protest, uh, what do they call it, a peaceful gathering in Forest Place, just further into Perth here at 11 o'clock. So I'll venture over there and say g'day to some of the great West Australian men and women. And uh, g'day to you, the digital diggers upon the webinets, you Trigger City intercessors. And the Bull Roarers and your beloved. Good morning, good day from WA. Welcome to Mission Control the Government House in Western Australia, which is really the people's house again. Just like the people's estate where the gutless Governor General refuses to answer any letters or any dialogue with the free people, free men and women of the country. Um, not only is it arrogant, it, it is guilt, it is gutless. Um, and it shows everyone else in Australia that they do not care about us, they do not care about the sanctity of children, they do not care about uh, any uh, loss of freedoms that we may feel, they don't care about our diggers deployed. Um, yeah, it is dark and sinister as that we cannot imagine. Oh, sorry, is this with my knee again? Oh, there you go. So, 
don't take anyone's eye out with Mike Broly. I've got me Broly, that's me Poppy. Oh yeah, that's how we roll in WA, we have our Broly. Oh, can you see that? Yeah, so I've even got my other camera on here, so I've been going live now for a couple of hours. I'll see what I can do to upload some of that later on. And um, I've been made very welcome here. It's a beautiful thing to come back home and be welcomed by these brilliant men and women. So the substance of character is incredible. The mindsets are very much the same. They're very much awake. They comprehend the climate change as a, another psyop fallacy. <coughs> Excuse me. Another reason to steal money from the taxpayers and send it back to the, their World Economic Forum. Like I said, here in WA, uh, Roger and Rita, front page news, when they took over, Roger and Rita Bohica, uh, nice easy transition to the new world order. We have been told, we are sold. And you're looking at the calibre of people and the, the amount of people here that care. Um, some people here every day, others just rock up when they can. Um, I'm not sure that I can commit to every day again, but I definitely am committed to the, every front here in WA. So, um, yeah, so welcome to Government House in Western Australia. There you go, it's in a gallon wide. People die. It's as easy as that. Accountability. These people are demanding accountability. So, yeah, I'm a big supporter of Como John's initiative to national strike to end the belligerent occupancy. And um, I'm going to bring it to these people's attention, or I have done, and I'll see how I can't get it across out and about. Uh, once again, the people here have been subject to everything that we have, so... Yeah, I suppose gun shy when it comes to truth, uh, which group to follow, who's in it for the right reasons, um, you know, what flags or what. And so they've just decided just to stand here. It's the best thing, the most powerful thing anyone can do is just get their government house in numbers, join with the men and women, and and, uh, and take our power back from the belligerent occupancies. So this is the first day, hopefully, of uh, many to join these remarkable people. I'm very proud to be Australian, very proud to be Western Australian. I praise the Lord every day for um, allowing me to be able to see and comprehend what glory is his. The red chopper coming through. I think we had the West... We don't want to have RAC choppers over here. That's like a Westpac red. So... I'm lost for words. Uh, we've, we've seen the... What would you call it? We've seen the, the mainstream news with a, a gun to its head um, telling the people exactly how corrupt they are. I think they're mocking us. I don't think they think. Pretty sure they think we're not even capable of taking our power back. We are enslaved. We're just background noise. And um, the men and women of the country are going to just cop and sweep with the Bohica like they always have done. Oh, nah, mate. Nah. We're approaching Anzac Day. People like this think they can know. Uh, the governor of Western Australia, I'm talking. They think they're going to honour the Anzacs with just more of the same, parade up and down this street. Nah, mate. We are not free. We cannot uh, travel. We, don't have, we have no freedom of travel uninhibited. Cameras, checkpoints everywhere. Uh, legislations and mandates unlawfully enforced by the belligerent occupied um, foreign entity that they call the police force. We cannot uh, guarantee the sanctity of children in this country, and that is a that is shame, shame. Our forces, police, ADF, uh, have no oath of allegiance to serve the men and women of the country, so they're a foreign entity as well. 
we're fully censored on all platforms at all levels, um, even the news owned by global corporates. We've got nothing to do, I say, fully censored. We have no freedom of speech. That's not freedom, mate. That's, that's danger, danger, warning cells, ding, 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 air raid siren stuff. We go on and on, but anyway, I'm just stoked to be here with this men, these men and women. <laughs> right across the country, people standing. So, anyway, welcome to WA. Thank you very much for tuning in. Um, yeah, just brushing out the cobwebs, just connecting with the men and women of WA, showing them that I'm here, 100% with them on their demands um, and to yeah, give them the confidence that the rest of the country is aware of their monumental stand of 823 days what are we 755 in Canberra it's not a race it's not a competition it's unity we care so Thank you for joining us. I'm going to leave it there. I'll probably upload some footage off my new uh, camera here. Which is pretty spec, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Upload some footage there. I'm sorry I'm uh, in the portrait, not the landscape, but um, it's the first time. Yeah, it's the first time I've been able to go live for a long time. Uh, I managed it by not putting in any title, any descriptions, just basically pushing the live button. So I'll, I'll amend all that later on. Over 10,000 signatures on the uh, National Strike and the Belligerent Occupancy uh, website. I recommend everyone to go down and, and uh, sign up. What it is is and the noise. What it is, is um, you saying that you've had enough of this belligerent occupancy, uh, the power will return to the people, and that uh, you endorse the men and women of this country to stand up for their rights and their freedoms and take it back. That's all it is. A peace full of power. It's a no-brainer. Anyway, the coup d'etat quokkas have been deployed to try and... Uh, I can't believe you've got to sell freedom. It's free. Take it. <coughs> but, yeah. Much love to you, to you Diggs. Uh, nice work to the men and women right across the country. G'day, Corey, crew. Um, yeah, everyone there in Canberra. Uh, g'day to those in Government House in Brisbane. And uh, if the people are still standing in Tasmania, God bless you. I... I pray you well, pray all power to you, and I'll better check on that. Maybe I need to find out how to connect better. Um, yeah, well done. G'day to Mel and Guru over there at Stop the Rot, Sack the Lot. Um, and yeah, Comrade John, g'day. Hope you're going well, mate. Um, all the Forest of the Fallen's out there, g'day. Christine Keane and Cameron doing the Forest of the Fallen again, g'day. Uh, and I'll stop there because there's just so many people say good day and I love you all. So welcome. Hopefully uh, the first of many more back here west side. We've got the West Flank Australia. You don't have a Black Swan event without the West Australians. Uh, you can see the Swan River right through there, home of the Black Swan. I was born within Kui. So yeah, that's about all I can say. Um, love you very much. We're not done, done yet. Continue to push through. Uh, if you can't get involved signing the uh, National Strike uh, Initiative um, and the belligerent occupancy is probably the best thing you can do. Give power back to you and ensure the sanctity of all children and that they inherit the earth. For God, uh, for man inherited earth. For the fish of the sea and all the creep of the pond. And that's a beautiful thing. And this is the substance of character it's going to take to uh, tell the belligerent occupancy that we're taking the power back, give us the keys back, and we've got this. 
all that stuff. But anyway, thank you for being here. I'll catch you later, Dix. All the best. Now, how do I turn it off? There we go.